Next up on our list is partition the disks. This is probably the most difficult part for people. It also dates back for, for years huh? when the first computers were built. How do we partition things? Now, all we need to know is that um, our USB or our ISO has already recognized our block device, so our system, and it's given it a name. Device SDA is our name. Let's take a look at it before we go on. There is this LS block and it gives already partitions. Now I've done already uh, my pictures for the website, so I'm now making the tutorial. So this is not the normal look. I'll show you later, but this could be a look on your hard disk, meaning if you are reusing an uh, SSD or a hard disk where I don't know, Linux Mint is installed, you'll see lines like that. So we're gonna re delete all that and start from scratch so we have the same thing. So this is our block device, so device SDA, SDA1. So this one. And then we need to have partitions. We need definitely need root, always. And if we uh, want UEFI, enabled then we need to have a specific uh, partition as well so yes and thirdly we need a swap space so we need minimum three partitions on our system and they say here on the wiki you could use fdisk or parted to partition your uh, hard disk now i'm gonna deviate a little bit i'm gonna use c disk which is a more graphical way to represent our hard disk now in regards to the partitioning we can follow this link here it's gonna be a tough call to read all this but mainly we have either master boot record which is an old computer of eight years old with a bias boot or we have a new um, hardware that we bought just recently that supports UEFI or just in short EFI and then we'll need to have GPT rather than MBR so that's the difference MBR move is master boot record and the other one is the newer one so what else um, people tend to discuss on the net how big partitions should be uh, how they should be formatted and how many of uh, the pieces because that's what will happen when we partition you have one hard disk and we cut it into pieces so how many pieces do you like boot as a separate partition home as a separate one var data and so on and a lot of discussion and uh, so on which is okay i have taken a look at the ufi gpt example layout i'm gonna follow their recommend recommendation of 550 megabyte as efi system partition the rest is all, um, well, per your personal choice. You give the root everything, as simple as that. If you have one terabyte hard disk, you'll give uh, the, lot, the, the bulk of the hard disk will be your root or maybe your home. Uh, well, because there is a fourth one here, which I will not do, will not do a Linux home, will just stick to three. You know that I'm a user of um, uh, cloud services, Dropbox, Google Drive. So I'll have just the root and then download everything that I require. So no need for me to have a home. So yeah, we're gonna use this. What I want to include in the tutorial as well, which is not really specific to this exercise, but just general knowledge and I've just looked it up, just Googled Linux partitions, primary, logical. Just want to give um, this, this knowledge to you guys. Uh, if you're an older guy like me, you've gone through those steps in the past. And what is it? We have a part, an A hard disk. You buy it in the shop and then you can put it into four elements. You can cut it in four pieces. And then they are called four primary partitions. Now, if, if four partitions is not enough, you need to do it like this. So three primary partitions, one SDA4, which is going to be an extended one, and then you can have an um, endless number of logical partitions like this. 
so it's um yeah it's always been like that so just so, so you know that you have either four primary partitions or three primary partitions one extended and in this extended you make logical partitions doesn't matter how many all right that's that uh, let's um, partition everything so let's get that out of the way and follow our tutorial so assuming that you have um, an old hard disk in or an old ssd this might be the look or something similar if you have more partitions but we're going to use the device SDA because that's the name of our block ID and what you do now is delete everything so all these lines you go you can move your uh, selected elements with the arrow up arrow down and left and right and return that's all you need it's super easy so I'm gonna say delete this one I'm gonna say delete that one I'm gonna say delete that one this is the normal look if you have uh, a virtual box and you installed it or you bought a hard disk or you bought an SSD right of the shop put it in this is what you get okay now we have the same and then we're going to to start to partition everything so um, first we press on new make sure that the selection is on new then press enter then you're gonna say like I just saw in the arch wiki they recommend 550 megabytes okay enter now I also need to tell them what it is because it says at the end on top there Linux file system that's not correct I have to change the type and I have to tell no this is the EFI system enter moving down to the free space clicking on return and say make me a new one and the new one is going to be our swap partition now the swap partition is normally rule of thumb you take your ram times two two gigabyte ram four gigabyte swap but i have 16 gigabytes of ram times two is 32 i don't have that much so what i'll do is just say okay i'll take 10 gigabytes for this exercise that's plenty of um, space for the the root which is going to be 20 gigabytes left and 10 gigabytes for the swap that's enough so pressing return now again he says hey SDA2 is going to be a Linux file system no we move to type we press on return and we say this is going to be Linux swap enter we move to the free space and last but not least we're going to set up our root this is where everything will be on etc your home your root var etc this is going to be Linux system so new just take the rest of the hard disk space that's that's why we ordered it like this rather than counting and counting how much space is left and so on I put um, the root at the end so we don't have to think anymore it's just the rest if it's a terabyte it's the rest etc so enter it says already Linux file system so the type is already correct so no need to change that now um, the last thing of course is if everything checks out you check it again if I system or Linux swap Linux file system sizes are correct no typos and then you say right you type yes you type return of enter and then you quit this application has done its job let's clear and ask again the ls block and there you go we have of course the same setup that i just deleted okay that concludes this tutorial and we'll need to format them the only thing we did now is slice your hard disk in three pieces no formatting done yet all right